Good afternoon from the Orange County Convention Center. We're here today for IAPA Expo, which is the International Association of Amusement Parks and Attractions. And basically this is where all of the different amusement parks, theme parks, and different attractions from around the world come to showcase new technology, new rides, new things, and all the big dogs are in there. So I'm excited. Let's go inside and have a look around. This is one of our favorite events every year. All kinds of fun stuff to see and do in there. Oh yeah, there's a lot of fun and exciting stuff to see here. The very first thing that we come across is Premier Rides. They're the ones that are building Icebreaker at SeaWorld. And we talked about this a little bit. You can see what the ride is going to be like. So remember when I was explaining that when we were at SeaWorld for the 50th birthday of Sesame Street, how you load in at the station and then it goes out onto the track and then you go backwards first up this spike and then you go forward and then backwards again up the spike and then you go forward to complete the entire ride and then you end up back at the station here. That's how it works. It's a little bit better to explain it that way. The other thing that they have going on here is, looks like they're going to reveal the ride vehicle, which will be exciting. That'll happen at 1.15, so very soon. So Mauer just announced this is the ride vehicle for their powered coaster that's gonna be on a Carnival cruise ship. So just imagine you are on a cruise ship and then you can get on a roller coaster or a powered coaster, powered, I don't know what you call it. It's not a roller coaster, right? Because it doesn't roll, it is powered. You can see this huge section in the front here, but it's on a cruise ship. You can go all around the cruise ship on this little speeder bike type thing. How much fun is that? That's gonna be on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Oh my goodness. This is just excitement right here. I kinda wanna get on this roller coaster right now because there's this crazy front car on it where it looks like the front car flips around. Whereas, oh, there it goes, it goes, I need to get on the other side over here of this hill so you guys can see it flipping. This is basically just like a gigantic carnival in all reality, amazing. Now we're gonna wait till they load in another cart full and watch them go over this hill and watch that first cart go flipping around. So while we're waiting for that to load, I figured we would come over to the BNM booth because they have one of the ride vehicles for Orion, a new Giga Coaster coming to Kings Island. You guys know this BNM look because it looks an awful lot like Mako and Diamondback. Yeah, that's gonna be a fun one. Let's see if this first time around, if it even spins or flips. Oh yeah, it does. Look at that. Holy cow. Yeah, I gotta get on that. Wow. And now they're gonna be going even faster. Oh my goodness. All right, here they come for their second time around. Wow. That looks so intense. Yeah, I'm gonna go get in line. Oh no, the line goes underneath this one and somebody on it just said, oh no, I'm gonna hurl. All right, we're getting in. They're calling this the hamster wheel. This ought to be fun. I'm actually pretty darn scared. Like, I'm not gonna lie. This is, uh, I don't know. I've never done anything that does like flips, but also turns side to side. It's like, this is super top heavy, right? Like if I'm at the top of this and it goes around a turn, you know? Physics. All right, here we go. All right. Oh. All right, so it stays totally normal at first, right? And then we hit this hill back here. Right here, you'll hear this, that. Oh gosh, holy cow, what the heck? Oh no, oh my goodness gracious, holy cow. What the? That was frightening. Wow. What in the world? Whoa! Oh! 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 oh. Holy macaroni. Whoa! Oh! Wow! What? I got you. Whoa! Holy cow. That was extremely frightening. Yes but still pretty fun. My glasses are I, I don't, I don't think I've ever like grabbed onto something before when we started the ride, I was like this, and then it happened and I was like, oh no, I should hold on. That was a subconscious thing. Wow. Well, that roller coaster was absolutely bonkers. I had no idea where I was as soon as it flipped over. I had no idea which way the track was facing, what my camera was doing, what my body was doing. I didn't know. I, I don't know what was happening. Now we're over here by Premier 
and they're getting ready to reveal the icebreaker train for SeaWorld Orlando. We'll have a look at it after they take the cover off. Here's something interesting that they just said, that it's a 48 inch height requirement, so it's a family friendly coaster, but still pretty good thrills. Here's a close up look at the new icebreaker train. You can see it's got the comfort harnesses just like Tigris does. So these harnesses don't really do anything. This doesn't have an inversion in it either. It does have a greater than vertical spike. So you do definitely get some airtime but you won't do any inversions. So the harnesses are just there for comfort. Looks good, it's very, very similar to Tigris. So this is a quad launching coaster. It's interesting. I like it, I can't wait to ride this. Spring of 2020 at SeaWorld Orlando. There's some sort of climbing structure here where the kids have to climb through all of these gigantic balls here. And there's like something they have to hit the flashing lights it looks like. This is really intense looking. So Intamin, announced Pantheon for Busch Gardens Williamsburg, the fastest multi-launching coaster in the world. But this is the train for it. Looks pretty nice. It also looks very comfortable. But so far, we don't really know a lot about this. We do know that it's multi-launching and that it's the world's fastest at 73 miles an hour for a multi-launch. Also, in case you're wondering what other rides Intamin makes, this is a train from Haggard's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure at Universal Orlando made by Intamin. I'm excited to say that this will probably be the very first year that I get the name of this company correct at Zamperla. I think they're moving away from flat rides and moving more into roller coasters because these are two new ride vehicles for their roller coasters. Is this one a spinning one? I think it is. Wow. That looks awesome. And they also have a gigantic flat ride back here that we could ride. I think maybe we'll come back a little bit later today to ride one of these. There goes the Zamperla running right now. Over here on this side, this is the line to get on the Zamperla flat ride. Over here at the Pro Slides booth, any of these slides look familiar to you guys? These are actually some slides that are at Volcano Bay. And then we've got some other ones here. This one looks like it's at Beach Park, which I don't know where Beach Park is. Let's see what else we can find here. This one's at Hershey. Pro Slides make a lot of water slides. This one's at Six Flags of Georgia, Six Flags over Georgia. Breaker's Edge looks like a lot of fun. I kind of want to go out to Hershey Park or even Holiday World. This mammoth looks super awesome. It's a hydromagnetic mammoth. Wow, I want to ride all these slides. Oh, over here at the Doppelmeyer booth. This is the company that makes the Skyliner gondola. I wish that the ones on the Skyliner had this. You could like have dinner in there, like a whole table set up and some drink containers. That's super fun. Some mascots here dancing around. Oh, they're doing a great job. They got some real scary ones off to the side here, don't they? Look at this, this guy wants high fives. Let's see if we can give him a high five. Yeah. Sally Dark Ride is opening up a ride in Six Flags of China called Garfield's Underwater Adventure. I like that he's fishing for pizza. SeaWorld San Antonio is opening up a wooden coaster from Great Coasters International called the Texas Stingray. I'm excited to ride a wooden coaster. You know that it's going to be fun with how much padding is around the seat here. Look at all that. I kind of want to go out to SeaWorld San Antonio to ride this. And I love that they use like a wood here too. That's a good look. Whoa, look at that. That's a big T-Rex head for sure. It's not making any noise, so I have to provide all of the noise for it. So right now he's just kind of like, dum de dum de dum de dum Hanging out here at Iapa, not doing much at the moment. You know, just kind of shaking my head, blinking my eyes. I wish I had a body at this point so I could go anywhere other than right here, but thus is the life of a T-Rex headed Iapa. I remember the days when I had a body. Oh. It was the best. Over here at RMC Rocky Mountain Construction, they revealed the Iron Guazi car. So this is what is replacing Guazi at Busch Gardens Tampa. They're redoing the entire thing to be a hybrid coaster. So wooden coaster with a steel track. And this is the new front train for it. This looks awesome. Wow. I kind of love this. I know I've said that about everything, but this is just exciting. 
it looks very roomy too. I love the design work on it as well. And I like the little crocodile head on the front here. That looks so neat. Oh, and we can see what kind of launch system it's gonna be. It's gonna be an induction launch. Interesting. And these are the wheels. Wow. Right across from RMC is the ever popular Dippin' Dots. Super long line here, but the good news is there's a second location towards the front. Let me go see if I can get a taste. I did it, I was able to get some brownie battered Dippin' Dots. Of course, a standard at IAPA is getting some beaver tails. Well, bad news everybody, beaver tails are all sold out for the day. So, looks like I missed my chance for today. It looks like this company has all sorts of balls, like play pit balls, but they also sell chairs and recliners that are made out of the play pit balls. That looks like a lot of fun. Very comfortable looking too. Good news everybody, Christmas is starting now. And Easter. Ooh, I kinda wanna put this on the roof of the house. That was really fun. It'd be like a good Christmas light show. Finally, a realistic look at what a dinosaur would have looked like. Look at them little tiny wings on him. Also, what is he eating? It's like a horse slash capybara. Not real happy about that, but I am happy that he looks like a real dinosaur murder bird. I have like a little laser shooting gallery here. This is kind of fun and exciting. Oh no, that bear's moving. He's like telling people that they're bad shots. This company here called DWL Studios, they totally have one of the like speeder bikes from Endor. It's amazing. But it looks like they make all kinds of different thematic contraptions. They have a little dinosaur up there. All kinds of different thematic aspects and model building basically. Well, they have a Kuka arm here, and this is what they could have used to carve this Batman. In case you guys are ever wondering what the contraption is that makes Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey work, it's basically a bunch of seats attached to this Kuka arm. And if you guys remember Stitch's Great Escape, the guns that came out to try to target Stitch as he was escaping, those were also Kuka arms. Whoa, that looks pretty intense. I think the very first year that we came, we rode this. Kind of looks scary, doesn't it? Whoa! What's this? Oh, it's like a wheelchair accessible game. And it looks like it's also waterproof too. You can play it at the water park. It's like a physical version of Pong. That's pretty neat. Huh. Oh no, he's not quick enough. Of course, there is always different arcade style games. Like these are coin pusher machines and then they've got gigantic claw machines. Wow. Oh, there's the, they got like actual bowling alley here. They're doing a game where this guy has to bowl a specific bowl. Oh, there he goes. Oh. Ooh. I wonder what that means. They're, I don't know what they're doing. Look at this beautiful shot. Oh, he hit blue. And he'll take 1800. Wow. So that's a good game. You have to hit a specific color on the bumper and then knock down some of the pins. That's kind of fun. This is like a boomerang version of air hockey, where instead of being across from each other, you guys are right next to each other. That's how you play. One of the favorites every year here at IAPA is the Infinity Massage Chair booth. You can come in and get a free massage in one of their chairs. It does take a little bit of time though. There's always a line waiting for them. I'm gonna show you guys, they also have different booths where people that give out prizes can come and buy the prizes bulk. So like if you go to an arcade and you see all the stuffed animals, these are them. This is where they get them from. The other thing that I figure we should do is to come outside and have a look because there's a whole nother section. So just to give you guys an idea, that's where we came from and we barely even scratched the surface of that. And now, we're gonna head outside and have a look around out here. There's a whole outdoor section. There are two different tents out here and all kinds of inflatables and other stuff over there. I feel like last year, they had something that we could sign out here. I don't really remember though. We'll leave a link to last year's video in the description down below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I really think that there was something that we signed. Now that we're outside, they've got a lot of really interesting stuff out here too. 
actually have a swing ride here called Star Scream. Should we go and ride it? Looks like it goes pretty tall. We're on the swing. Hope you guys are ready. I feel like they didn't even check me. Am I supposed to put some sort of some sort of harness on? Probably should have. Let me put that on. Hold on, I'll be right back. We're doing it. We're riding it. Oh, this is nice. Wow. I can feel like I can see everything from up here. I'm on top. Oh no, what happened to the people behind me? Whoa. All right. Oh, oh, it's getting windy out here now. Wow. Okay. Well, this is more frightening than the one that's at uh, I Drive, that really tall one. There it is. This is what we can see. There are other people on the ride with me. So here we are looking down. It's actually kind of cold now that the sun's starting to go down and I'm getting pretty dizzy. I wonder if we can see anything from up here. I can see uh, Top Golf. Oh, that's SeaWorld over there. I think that's all that we can see. Are we going back down? We are going back down. That was fun and exciting. I don't think that I needed my little chest harness. I think it was fine that I was just in the seat. That was, that was a good time. I wonder if the Zamperla's open yet. We should head inside and have a look. Another big attraction here at IAPA is the inflatable market. A lot of people come out here that have inflatable businesses. Maybe they rent inflatables. Come out here to see what kind of new inflatables there are. Maybe buy new ones. Lots and lots of inflatables. And actually, in case you guys ever wondered how much inflatables cost, you can get them for like a 15 foot inflatable for about $1,700, $1,800. Here at IAPA particularly, it's like a fairly inexpensive business to get into renting inflatables. I'm sure that there is a lot of liability that you need though. All right, let's head back inside, head back over to Zamperla, get in one last ride for the day. Oh, more inflatables, by the way. I feel like Buttons is here every year. Hello, Buttons. <laughs> I like that, that's amazing. Also, there's an angry bird right there. Look at this, it's like a trackless ride. Huh. It's called a baby beetle train. Kinda want one of these. I don't think it would hold me, but I kinda want one. Well, it seems like maybe today's not the day for this ride. Seems like they're having a little bit of trouble with it right now. You can see them troubleshooting it right here. So, see what else we can find around IAPA. Passing by this whitewater booth. Look at this ridiculous water slide that they made where you like dump right in to this helix thing and then you pop out and then you go through the rest of the water slide. And I think that they've actually built, oh yeah, look, they did. They built a full size one of these that people can ride. That is gonna be my life goal is to ride that one day. It looks like it's over in Asia somewhere. The slide wheel, wow. Yeah, I wanna ride that. One thing that I feel like I haven't seen this year and maybe I just haven't found it yet is horror type stuff. Haunted houses or stuff they might use for haunted attractions around the world. I haven't seen any of that stuff yet. I'm gonna keep my eye out though. Another big thing this year is VR stuff. She's on a motorbike. We can see what she yeah, sees in here. No, we did both and then uh, we did a Whoa, look at this thing. It's like a whole gigantic vehicle. That's a VR simulator. You get inside, you put on a headset, and then it's a motion platform. That's a simulator right there. There's also a bunch of different playground type things here. Tim Tracker? Oh my goodness, they have a launching water slide? This is Wigan. Look at this thing. How cool would that be? Oh man, that would be so much fun. This is a company called Aerofile and they actually run characters in flight out of Disney Springs, but they have something called an Aero Bar, where it's just like a hot air balloon with uh, seats all around it. And you go up and you have some drinks up in a hot air balloon type thing. I stopped off and got some Margaritaville ice cream and this is Jimmy Buffett's ice cream and they're gonna sell it at all the Margaritaville resorts. It was really good, I got a mocha flavor. It's like a coffee flavor, coffee and chocolate. We got some singing elks. Legoland New York also announced a new motion based ride and this is the ride system right here. Kind of looks like you're gonna be a Lego brick or something. Or like the packaging for a Lego brick. And this kind of looks like a trackless ride system with a motion base on top of it. Well, I think we got time for one more ride. We're gonna do this one right here. So I've been on rides like this before. It's the same company that makes that like hamster wheel roller coaster that we rode very first thing. But today, or right now, it's just kind of like a side to side type ride. I think it does flip over though, because I do have the shoulder harnesses. So we'll find out. Oh, the floor is separating. Oh my, kind of frightening. 
Also very flashy. Oh, we're going. Oh, and we spin too, by the way. Whoa. Wow. I feel like this is probably gonna make me dizzy. I just ate ice cream too. Oh my, yeah, it gets going pretty quick, doesn't it? Holy cow. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I'm kind of sideways here and upside down a little bit. Am I gonna flip totally over now? Okay, I think I'm upside down. Whoa, whoa, I was upside down for a very long time. Wow, whoa, I'm upside down again. Okay, oh, the camera, oh, whoa, we're really flying now. You guys want a POV of this? Whoa, there's the ceiling. Okay, it's slowing down now, so not so bad anymore. Oh. Well, that was fun and exciting. All right. Wow. Quite a ride. So there you have it. That was day one of the IAPA Expo here in Orlando. So many things to see. I feel like we didn't even scratch the surface of everything that's in there. So many different companies that have so many different roles in the amusement and entertainment and theme park industry. It's mind-blowing. And this is definitely the mecca for it. So if you guys are interested in attending the expo, we'll put some links in the description down below. It's a little bit expensive to come here because it is for the industry people. So you have to be a member and tickets into the expo are pretty expensive per day. But if this is part of your business or if this is something that you're really interested in, it might be worth it to come out here and have a look around and see what there is as far as new things coming to the industry. IAP is fantastic. We definitely need to come for more than one day I don't know if we'll have time to do more than one day this year, but I don't know. Keep an eye on the channel. You never know. We might be back. So with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm Kyla. I'm Kalo. And we're from Cool Kitties Adventure. And now it's time to...